Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is a hardware cursor. So a hardware cursor can be accessed by going to our project settings. I can search for cursor like I did here or go to engine user interface and we'll find hardware cursors. You'll also find software cursors, but that is covered in a separate video. Hardware cursors are cursors on the hardware level that replace the existing cursors, and they don't have the downside of the software cursors where they're not limited by frames per second. So a hardware cursor will run properly every update, and we're not going to have any perceptible lag. They have a little bit of an issue in terms of working. Let me show you how that is. So we can set them up in two ways. We can use the set hardware cursor node, or you can use the hardware cursors in the engine user interface to override all of them. So if we do it in here, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. So we have a cursor named my cursor. I'm going to override the default shape. I'm going to run this, and now you can see, well, here's my custom cursor. And like I mentioned before, if we do max frames per second, we set this to something like five. Rather than lagging like a software cursor, we have full frames per second like we expect. Let me set that back to normal, 120, and there we go. So that's good. But this is kind of cheating because the engine already knows where this is at because of some stuff I've done. And let me show you that. So in this case, let's go back into our project. And here's my cursor. And you can see it's next to our widget that we're using. But even though it's here, it's imported, you can see it says my cursor texture, it tells you the path to it, it tells you the source file, it tells you all the settings. We're not actually using this one. So if we copy this and we copy a reference, we'll go into our project settings, we'll add a new hardware cursor, we're going to override the default. You can do none, you can do any of these other ones, it just depends on how you want it set up. Cursor path, I'm going to paste in my path, and you can see that's the internal path. Let's clean this up a little bit, so we'll get rid of the texture 2D, and we'll get rid of the dot my cursor at the end of it. And you would think this is what we would want. Game, examples, WTF, widget, hardware, cursor, my cursor. Because that matches our path to where our file's at. But if we go ahead and let's unhook this, and we'll run our example... Well, our cursor didn't work. And I believe in our output log, yes, you can see right here, failed to load cursor. And you can see if you include a file extension, blah, 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 remove them. Okay, so the issue here is it's expecting the raw file to replace the cursor. We go to our project settings, we go to our cursor path, we have this giant pop-up. And you'll see, specify the partial game content path to the hardware cursor. For example, do slate.default pointer don't slate.default pointer dot cur. So it doesn't want the extension. Cool, not a problem. Let's you know the slate directory is a directory that's always going to be cooked out. Okay, good place to put resources. Tells you to look for platform specific formats like a cursor or PNG on Windows or PNG or TIFF on Mac or PNG on Linux. Cool. Ability to handle multi resolutions. Cool. That's all good. Not a problem. So we need it in a Slate folder. So I have a folder here called Slate. And if we were to take our cursor and put our cursor into there, so in this case, here's our cursor. So we will copy it over here. And we'll set this up as uh, my cursor Slate, just so we know we're going to use this one. We'll copy the reference, go back to our project settings, paste it in, go back into here. OK, well, actually, we don't need game. So slate dot my cursor. Okay, that looks good. We'll go ahead and run this again. And still not working. No, it needs the raw files. It does not want the converted texture. If we were to right click on this and show in Explorer and open up my file right here, you can see I actually have two PNGs in here. My cursor dot PNG and my cursor two dot PNG. And then the texture asset that Unreal Engine created. It's looking in here for the raw files so that's important so if we were to go back into here to our project settings and change this to my cursor and we went and ran this so well, there's our cursor go back to product settings well let's try my cursor too we'll hit play hey look there's our cursor too 
it's looking inside of our slate directory for the raw file according to the hierarchy that we've destined that the engine's designated the ani cursor png tiff png png dependent error platform and then creating out your cursor now the other option we have in here is a hotspot unlike software cursors where we have to do some trickery inside the blueprint here we just define it in this case i want it to be at the top middle of my cursor when we run this i want it to be at the tip of the cursor not the top left as you can see here so top left is zero zero bottom right is one one so the middle of the x which is our left and right is 0 0.5 and i want it in the top along the y we go ahead and we'll hit play again we'll move our arrow and there we go it's in the top right where i expect it to be going back into our widget we have the set hardware cursor node and it should look pretty much identical to what you're expecting the nice thing about this is it overrides these or you can do it at runtime so now we've deleted it we have no more hardware or software cursor we run this no hardware or software cursor that's been changed we can just do this hook up our node set hardware cursor what do we want to override in this case our default what do we want which cursor are we loading up so we'll go ahead and load up my cursor too where's our hotspot well 0 0.5 and 0 we'll go ahead and hit play there we go there's our my cursor too it's in the right spot we've got the hot spot in the right spot and you'll notice in the top left it says true because it returns back a valid if we didn't have this correctly set up so for example my cursor new or actually my cursor slate remember we created the slate one right here my cursor slate the texture file if we hit play we get false and it's not changed because again hopefully we've got it clear enough here it loads it actually from the content directory from the original source file not the converted texture file and that's it uh, if you want to set something back for example you can set things back to default you can set them back to none you can set the cursor name back to nothing it'll load the default in and that is our hardware cursor it allows you to have a cursor at the hardware level you can load it in from your project settings by creating a new hardware cursor it loads it up off of a default path inside of the project a non unreal asset file an actual source file keep in mind you don't have to use the slate folder it just recommends that because the slate folder is cooked out no matter what it's not going to be removed it's going to cook it out and you got to keep in mind if we delete this file and this is why the slate folder is recommended this folder to unreal engine looks empty so by default it's not going to cook it out if it was something else but the slate folder knows maybe you have raw files sitting inside of it and it's going to cook out those raw files to your project and if you don't want to use the hardware settings to override everything use the set hardware cursor node with the same settings